guys. So today I'm going to be talking about inner beauty because I feel that if like you're beautiful on the inside, it's going to show out and like you're going to be beautiful on the outside. And I know a lot of my videos are like makeup and fashion, but I wanted to kind of like get deeper because you guys are like my family, like my YouTube family. Um, and I want to share with you guys like what I do to get through tough situations or like anything that you like need like I want to be able to reach out and help you guys and the reason like that I started my YouTube is um, so a little backstory is in middle school I got bullied and um, these girls are like oh like you're not pretty and stuff like that and I hated myself myself like I didn't like how I looked um, I starved myself for a little bit, thank god my parents, like, cut on and, like, stopped that, but, um, it was tough, and, um, I just want to tell you guys, like, that you're not alone, like, I go through some of the stuff, and even though I can come on here and look like everything's fine and, like, perfect, like, I mean, I went through stuff to get here, and I want you guys to be able to come talk to me or talk to your parents or your friends or anyone if you're struggling and during that time when I was in like middle school um I found the YouTube community and like that was kind of my like safe spot and um like I was able to feel beautiful and not feel like I was less or anything and so for me I want to start a YouTube channel just so to give you girls that um, are younger or that didn't have that, I want to open up an opportunity for you guys to have a place where you guys can feel safe and welcome and make you feel beautiful even though like you may not be like the richest person or you may not be able to afford everything um, but if like your inside is beautiful like people can tell like if you have a smiling face and everything like People are going to be like, oh, like, she's beautiful because she's always happy and she always has a good attitude. And, like, that's one thing that really helped me is just to, like, always smile. Like, that's, like, um, one of the biggest things I tell myself is to always put a smile on my face because you never know who needs that smile today. Um, and, like, there's this one quote that my mom told me a long time ago and it just really stuck with me. Um, it's like after every thunderstorm there's always sunshine and it's so true it's almost like the whole like silver lining but it's so true that it, like after everything you go through there's there's gonna be a happy side and you just have to find that happy side and what I do is like I ignore the thunderstorm like sometimes you can't ignore it sometimes you have to face the music and just get through it but there's sunshine after it and like that's the positive part of it. That's the part that makes me happy and like that I'm able to focus on and then my joy is able to carry on to other people and then make them happy. And it just kind of goes around because if I'm in like a bad mood and someone else is like joyful, then that joyful rubs off on me and then I'm in a really good mood. And like I went from a school that had like less than 100 kids, K through 12, to uh, just a high school that has almost 3,000 kids and that was like a huge thing for me and if it wasn't for the type of friends that I have I would probably be so overwhelmed right now just the people that I found there at the school I'm currently at um, they were so accepting of me and like that's where I really found myself like there wasn't tight clicks there was just it was kind of like a family in a way for me like it's a place that I get to go and for me, like, I love school um, because I have my friends there, because I get to see, like, my second family. And they just always support me, and I support them in return. And if you're struggling, like, that's something that I feel like I encourage you to try to find, is, like, a friend group. Because, I mean, as much as you can go to your parents, like, I don't know, sometimes I don't go to my parents. Because, like, I see that they're struggling, and I don't want to put my struggles on top of their struggles. So that's when I go to my friends and my little sister. My little sister is so amazing. Like, she's gone through stuff, too. And I kind of want to start the series of just, like, being real with you, like, real talk. And I don't even know what I'm going to try this video yet, but um, I just want to start, like, a motivation to, like, 
your spirit and your soul just to be at peace with yourself, for you to be comfortable in your own body, for you to feel that you're loved, that you're cared for. Um, because, like, I love you guys. You guys are, like, family to me. And, like, that's the biggest thing. Like, I feel like family's the center of everything. And so that's why my friends are my family. And obviously my family. And you guys are family and stuff like that. And just that home base literally can change your life. Um, it will give you encouragement. And, like, anyone that is struggling and that has, like, that family base can tell you that it really helps to have someone to go to talk to or anything like that. And so I just really want to start the series. I don't know what I want to call it yet, so um, just tell me what you think I should call it. Um, and I really hope that you, like, want to see more of these videos. Like, I really want to open and show my real life with you guys and tell you that it's okay. Like, you're gonna get through it because the day's not over till it's over. Like, it's not the end of the world yet. You have time. It's gonna get better. I promise you guys. And like, I know it's so cliche and everyone's like, yeah, everyone says that, but it's so true because it will get better. I promise. And so hopefully if you like these videos, I would love to do more of them. Um, I want to do a draw my life. I don't know if you guys want to see that. Um, but I'm going to do that and then a few other videos. Um, but if you have videos that or requests that are like this or similar, um, tell me in the comments below or tweet me like I'll leave my Twitter and my Instagram and my Snapchat um, down below in the description box and if you have any like questions anything just like tweet me or comment on my Instagram photo or whatever and I typically respond to pretty much everyone that um, tweets me or comments on my Instagram photos um, but I think that'll be it for this like intro ish video um, I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye, guys.